Hi everyone, joining us at our Tencent We Start co-working space is Mui Kinoshita, who is the CEO of ASA Technology Limited and the creator of Air Luna. Welcome Mui. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. And congratulations on being the winner of the Jumpstarter Pitch Competition and Kaleidoscope Lab. That's amazing. Congrats. Thank you, Thank you so much. <laughs> Tell us now, what, was, what sort of sparked this idea that is Air Luna? How did you come up with it? Oh, actually, we have this uh, idea after a very big incident in Hong Kong, a fire accident in 2016. Oh, my. Yeah, at that time, the, the, the fire just non-stop burning for 72 hours. Oh, wow. So it just caught everyone's attention sure. that moment, and the smoke is coming out. Yeah. And so we started to look at the, the problem from mm -hmm. the air because the toxic air Absolutely. coming up from from the fire incident actually affects the community at that time sure. and yeah and so me and my partner at that time we wanted to do something different and we also want to do something to to help the That's community sure. so we think that air could be a very good direction because yeah, sure. everyone brief yeah. and uh, and also when we check um, the news yeah. when the toxic air come out it actually affect community for absolutely, a couple of months absolutely yes. air pollution right yeah, yeah. so uh, we started to look for technology mm -hmm. and uh, and very lucky we 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 found Dr. Oscar Ho okay. from um, that time he already like got a Pat patent technology uh -huh. uh, from the city university. Sure. So that's how it begins, yeah. So explain to us a little bit about how it works and what are the benefits of using such a product. Okay, so there are two different products. Okay. There's from the test side, from the creative side. Okay. Yeah, so um, let's talk about the, the tech. Yeah, uh, let's talk about the tech. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it's called an OCO um, technology, ozone catalytic oxidation. Okay, what is so, that? Um, um, normally, I'm not sure, do you have an air purifier at home? Um, no, I don't. Okay. I don't. <laughs> so, um, normally, um, in, uh, for traditional air purifier, mm -hmm. you would use filter plus a activated carbon filter. Okay, so a, hyper, a, a helper filter as well a, as a? And, and the activator okay. carbon filter. Got that. <laughs> so um, you need to change um, the filter very often, okay. especially for the uh, activator carbon filter. How often? So like how three to six months. Okay. And if in Hong Kong, when the humidity is very high, yeah. Um, because the material itself it absorbs water. Mm -hmm. So once it is full, yeah. the toxic uh, chemicals which. Uh, uh, capture inside the filter yeah. will um, potentially release back to the environment if you don't change the filter sure. often. But uh, actually many users doesn't know about this issue and uh, this technology is different because mm -hmm. it doesn't capture any uh, chemical pollutants mm. inside the filter itself, sure. but it breaks down and decomposes the, the chemicals That's into uh, harmless elements. So it's like water and some natural gases yeah. that doesn't affect people even though they don't change the filter. Oh, wow. So uh, and also because it doesn't so consume the material, yes. and so the lifetime is super long. Yeah. So for activated carbon filter, you need to change like three to six months. Yeah. But for our filter, you don't need to change it at all because uh, the lifetime is even longer than all the electronics components. Sure. Yeah. So how long did it actually take to create this product? And the whole process, in, including testing, design, how long did the whole process take? It took us like uh, one and a half years. Oh, only? Yeah. With so everything that you're speaking about, it sounds like to me it took like five years. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, actually, okay, from the, from the fire incident to now, it's okay. like two, two and a half years. Sure. For the first year, we, we spent more time on defining mm. which product uh, are we going to make uh, okay. to, to commercialize this technology? Okay. So then we have Aluna. Sure. Yeah, because uh, after all the research and we talked to the business unit, the clients, the end customer, especially in the home environment, mm. can really find something that can merge with the interior sure. perfectly. Sure. Especially when we talk to a five-star hotel client, yeah. they're trying to find a apple fire to put inside a room, yeah. but they couldn't find anything in the market that can fit in with the interior design. Sure, sure. And because I am actually a designer, okay. so I also have like branding and interior design experience. Mm -hmm. um, usually when a designer works 
on the project, when they pack the product, they have to fit with their themes and um, the concept and the design, right? But um, to be honest, in the market, you, for a designer, you, can't, you hardly find anything yeah. to, to let them put inside their design project. Sure. So, uh, and that's why I had, yeah, I had this idea, like, oh, let's do something different mm. that we create something that can merge it's with, and, it stands yeah, out. And, and do a very bespoke because uh, in the market, when you study on the market, yeah. all the brands, they're trying to compete on just the technology or the size mm -hmm. or just the form of sure. the of the product. And you wanted something completely different and completely new. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Now, being the winner of the Kaleidoscope um, Lab Pitch Competition as well as Jumpstarter, how do you now plan to, to grow, to develop, to expand? What are, the, what are the, some of the stuff that you have yeah. planned for, um, for Air Luna as well as ASA as a whole? Yeah, uh, we have a very big vision mm -hmm. that we want to create an international brand sure. um, which is completely different from our competitor. How so? It's more like a Dyson, but focus in the air purification okay. at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So as I said, um, we want to merge the air technology sure. with different uh, lifestyle products. Yeah. So Aluna is just the beginning of the story. is is one of our our product, mm. and our slogan is uh, air we, we breathe um, everywhere. So clean. We want to create mm. clean air uh, in everywhere yeah. in any form. Sure. So um, we don't believe the air technology should just put inside a box. Mm. It can have many different way to to express. Sure. Right? Yeah. And so the first product will be combining with lamp. Okay. But then we will also combine the technology with different kind of lifestyle product so that everywhere when we go we have brief air sure. with us. Cool. Yeah. So that will be what we are going to develop um, after Aluna that we will we have a few markets that we will definitely go into uh, for the residential. For example, uh, some hospitality? Yeah, in hospitality sure. and residential apartments Great. and sure. many restaurants mm -hmm. and uh, offices. Yeah, Are these so adventures that you've already started that are already in the making or are they just plans for now? Um, uh, there are many clients. They they're interested in the product, yeah. so so we we can't wait to provide the product for our customers. Yeah. Sure. So obviously, we know that here in mainland China and here in Hong Kong, air pollution is a huge environmental crisis, and we know that with a product like Air Luna, it's helping to fight that. Are there other products that you know that you are coming up with that will also help with this air pollution that is happening? Uh, I would say, um, yeah, the problem is very serious mm -hmm. and uh, there are many brands in China yeah. like, working on this area. Like, it's about 700 brands sure. working on this and uh, I believe uh, uh, all the company is trying to solve the, yeah. this problem, but as are, what we want is we will focus more in the premium okay. customer. Okay, yeah. Me, yeah. can you explain on that uh, more? Um, what does it mean when you say we're focusing on premium customer? So uh, someone who really concerned about quality okay. and the design That's important. and their lifestyle. Okay. Yeah, so we we, we so we'll putting your customers in, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we want to provide this solution for some upscale hotel, some like premium residential space sure. and premium office. So yeah, so that would be our focus direction. Cool. Now, as a female entrepreneur yourself, what were some of the issues um, that you faced um, as an entrepreneur? You mean a problem or advantage? <laughs> a disadvantage and an advantage. We can talk about both. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so I say something happy versus... Yeah, then you can talk about... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because um, uh, I... I think as a female entrepreneur, there are lots of advantage. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because because uh, uh, most of the entrepreneur are yeah. guys. Mm. So when you are in touch with um, people, it just makes other people easier to remember this sure. company because yeah. usually, lady, 
and the percentage is like one to ten. Yeah. <laughs> so when we go presentation or something, like after the presentation, if someone say, "Hey, I want to look for the girl," <laughs> <laughs> then they can still find me very easily. But because you're amongst say, many guys. Yeah. <laughs> but if they say, "Oh, I want to look for that guy," so it's very difficult you're to find. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, um, but it really happened. Like okay. People say, I "Oh, imagine. I want to look for the girl." Yeah. Okay. And that's how they're able to find you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, I think um, that is a, one of the biggest ad advantages. And yeah. um, but for these advantages, I'm also married. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really have to make it balance, like sure. because for woman you need to like think about oh, do you want to have a baby or you want sure. to your priorities, a, yeah, yeah, or have a company, a career. So you mm -hmm. have a lot of. Uh, uh, yeah, we, we need a lot of uh, compromise um, mm -hmm. with uh, the family. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. So, um, like, uh, my, my husband is very supportive. Mm. So I think I'm very lucky because all my family, my husband, my yeah, mother-in-law, father-in-law, yeah. they're all very supportive and just let me settle the business first before we move that's, on to another stage. That's so nice. Yes. That's so that, nice. I think this is a critical issue for that's, most of the women. That's important to know that support from your family is, you know, it is really is, is, is helpful and it makes the process that much easier. Yeah. If another female came to you who also had the dreams of starting her own business, what advice would you give her and why? I would ask her to think about uh, what she needs to sacrifice first. That's key. Yeah, that's, that's key. as important. Um, because I think as a successful entrepreneur, mm. first you need to have a very good management that's on cool. your yeah, family and your time. Sure. You, have, you need to make everything balanced mm. so that you don't feel suffer. Yeah. yeah because I'm um, doing um, making this uh, creating a new business there's already a lot of challenges absolutely and a lot of uh, pressure coming from the from solving the problem from the business absolutely if at the same time you need to solve other problem mm -hmm. then it would it just makes make, it makes you like in the burden mm -hmm. and that makes sense yeah so sure. first you need to fix all these problem first mm -hmm. before you move on and have a very stable environment both like um, uh, like physically and mentally sure. and get ready for the business. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's great. Another question concerning, you know, Asa and Eluna, the business as a whole, which do you plan to, to expand in other parts of Asia? Yeah, definitely. Do you mind sharing which, which places and why those specific places? Uh, you mean outside Asia? Yes, yes. Right? Uh, no, outside Hong Kong. Outside, outside Hong, Hong Kong. Kong. Um, well, I mentioned we want to make an international brand. Absolutely. So uh, we will work with a different company. Sure. Yeah. Uh, say Peninsula is already not only based in Hong mm -hmm. Kong. And also uh, our seed investor is actually a New World Development. Yes. They also have other properties nice. outside Hong Kong. Sure. And I think other than B2B, in the future, we will also move on to the B two C market mm. as well. Yeah, yeah. And many people ask us to to sell it to their home. <laughs> that, hey, hold on. Not because, now. <laughs> yeah, not now because we want to do a B two B business first, and sure. then we want to prove everything is good yeah. before we move to everyone's home. But uh, definitely, we will we will come to the consumer market and uh, we will look for global distribution yeah. like in the States, in Europe, um, in Japan, nice. yeah, and nice. in China, definitely we, yeah. will, we will look at those markets. Yeah. Cool. And just before you go, what is the best way of trying to look for a mentor? So if you want to start your business and you need a mentor, so key people that you need to speak to, what would you say is the best way to find these people? To find these um, people? Yeah. Exposures. Okay. Yeah. Um, Exposure by? By joining different workshops. Okay. And uh, the, the road show. Okay. The pitches. Sure. Just connect to as much, as, as many people as you can. That's good. Because uh, it's very difficult to say, oh, I want like whatsoever mental. Um, because like when you, you, you find a person mm. uh, in, the, in the meeting, you, 
when you go into the meeting, you, you don't know who will like give you a uh, valuable support, right? Sure. So, so you just go meet people, talk to them, yeah. and influence people, and make people feel they are also interested yeah. in this project. Sure. And I think we have many mentors mm. um, for ASA. Mm. I have to thank you. I think everyone, mm. like, um, they just give a little support or sure. someone give the biggest this support. This is why mentors, mentors are very important. Yeah. You know? yeah. And they will, like, refer people refer, sure. that's like, important too yeah. we refer uh, refer to different to companies, companies and people, people and whatever it is you're looking or competition. for competition mm. everything just refer from people and uh, and, and that's why when we got the gem start the most favorite startup sure. people ask like why to 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 our watch is it because we had attended so many different accelerators sure. and um, workshops and, and conferences workshop mm. so Actually, there are many organizations sitting down there and yeah. they really support us. And they, they also want us to be succeed. Yeah. So I think to expose yourself while you are doing the pitch, even yeah. though people might not agree with you. Sure. We had a lot of challenges yeah. at the very beginning when we pitched our idea. And there's hundreds of questions asking uh, why this and that, and yeah. maybe they don't think it works. Sure. But I think as a um, as the founder, you need to have a very strong vision that you need to believe on yourself. But That's at the same good. time, you have to listen. That's good. Yeah, and try to answer all the questions. Sure. Like afterward, if you cannot like persuade a person mm. to like like listen to you, the problem is not in. The person, the person, but it's in it, yourself. In yourself yeah. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Mew. Are there is there any closing remark that you'd want to say? Anything that you want to let people know? Okay, we're planning a Kickstarter campaign. Oh, nice. Yeah, but maybe later um, this year. Yeah. Yeah. Later this year, like in the near we, future, we, like we, towards we, the end we, of the year. We can't um, say it now, but we have already started to accept. Um, like like a, a subscription for not 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 purchase the other but um, to to subscribe to our email mm -hmm. uh, email list yeah. so that we will send our uh, news to you and then when the campaign come to life then you will get a fifty percent off. Oh nice! Yeah, so <laughs> that's so great. And and how do people find you? So what's your website? Okay, uh, eluna .io. <laughs> Okay, so you know where to find. Mui's products, eluna.io, yeah. correct? Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you so much, Mui, for joining us. Thank you guys for being a part of the show, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>